Welcome back to the electric side of things. Okay, I had a previous video about this making a motor, so I'm just going to go through it again with you guys to make it a little bit clearer. So when I'm troubleshooting a motor, okay, so right here, it's, it's three phase, 600 volt motor, okay. 600 volts come in here, the fuses, goes to the contactors, and it goes to the motor, okay. So when I test the motor to make sure the motor is good and the wires are good, right? What I do is this is a process of figuring stuff out, eliminating certain things. So what I do is usually I will check the continuity of the motor. Okay. So I'm going to check the phases. In the three phase motor. All three phases should be the same. The number might change to different motors, but whenever you check the motor, it should be the same. So, just here, you can see it. So I go phase to phase. I got 0.65 other phase. I got nothing. The other two phases, yeah, nothing. So that tells me that this motor is single phasing. Okay, so the three phase motor, all three phases should be the same. So it said whatever it was said before. So it said nothing, nothing. So it said 65. Probably not going to be 65 because it's probably single phasing. Let's say it said 45. The number doesn't matter because every motor is different. It should be all 45. So th all three phases should be 30, 45, 45, 45. Or 25, 25, 25. They should be all exactly the same. If one phase is from 60 and the other phase is 22, one of your phases are bad. Okay? So this motor is single phasing. You check it for for if you want to meg it so you don't make phase to phase because you know the two phases are phase all three phases are connected so you can't make phase to phase you have to make from phase to ground right so if you're going to make phase to ground but one on one phase the lead on one phase Go to the ground bar, the ground thing. You press it. So you know one of these phases are short to ground. It's also short to the ground. So one of the phases are bad and short to ground. Because if you think, if you see the number, I don't know if you can see the number, can you see the number? Hold on. Okay, this is nothing. You just go like this. It's two. It says two point two gig ohms, okay, and ten fifty two volts. Go here. Go here. It's point eight mega ohms. So that means it's short to ground. So the motor is bad. Is short to ground. You're not going to check each phase because all three phases should be all interconnected together. So you know this motor is bad. Okay. So say the motor is fine. Now I have to check the wires. The wires, these wires here. Okay. So if I have to check the wires, you got to make sure you unhook the wires from here or at the motor. So you have to unhook the motor, wires at the motor, because you checked the motor already. Unhook the wires from here, and then check the continuity of each wire. Each wire is going to be separate, right? So then you check them to the ground. So all I'm going to do here is get it out of the way. Okay, 
trying to see what's going on here. So, I'm going to pinch one of these wires. Okay. And go to ground. Okay. And check it. So it's 2.2 mega ohms. So this wire means the wire that I'm checking is good. I'm going to check the other wire. Ground. The wire also is good, 2.2 mega ohms. Let me check this one. Ground. So see how all three wires are good? They're all 2.2 mega ohms. Now, touch. Uh oh, I'm gonna check the computer. So I'm gonna check the wire. Wire zero. I was telling you. So when you go check a wire, you know one of these wires are bad because they're touching the the box. So if you connect each wire to the motor. to the motor. We know this motor is bad already, but she wants to see the difference in the wires. This is what makes a difference because none of these wires are connected. Now none of these wires are connected. Now they're just connected to the motor. I know one of these wires are bad because I made them bad. I cut, I cut it. This one's bad. That one's bad. That one's bad. So now you change this here. So anyways. So you know this motor's bad. And the ground wires are bad. So now. Alright, so now I'm going to start making these wires here individually. So I'm hooking a contactor around them here, okay? It's going straight to the motor, okay? This is a different motor. This motor is okay. It's not blown. The phases are alright. It's not ground, short to ground. I'm checking the wires that are feeding the motor, L1, L2, L3, okay? So I'm going to make her, and you can see. So one of the wires are bad. It's short to ground somewhere. So I know this motor is still good. So I'm going to hook this from the motor. I hook these leads from the motor. Let's see. I hook these more from the motor. Okay. okay. I know one of these wires are bad because I've seen it. Because it's zero mega ohms. So, which the wire is bad. Because I cut it. See it? See here? It's cutting the conduit. But I'll check you, show you, sorry, a good motor. So, when I go here, 
check the phase, two ground on a motor, that works, 2.2 mega ohms, okay, or it's 5.5, but it's actually 2.2, .2. it's reading it back, okay, and then, I go to phase to phase. You can see 19. Phase to phase. 19. Phase to phase. 19. Phase to ground. Nothing. So this is a good motor. All three phases are connected. Continuity is the same in all three phases, and it's not connected to ground. So this motor is fine. The wire feeding this motor is broken. So when you're measuring the wire, you're measuring, you're measuring the strength of the shield of the wire, the outside of this plastic part. So if there's a nick in the wire, it's going to come out and go to the ground because there's a thousand volts. You're shooting a thousand volts out of this thing, right? So I hope I can help you. Hope this is more clear this time. Hope I'm speaking clearer this time. Anyways, you guys have a good day. If any questions or comments, leave it in the bottom. I'll try to get to them. You guys take care. Have a good holiday.